to Stevens Park here in Marlboro, Massachusetts, home of the Eagles, where today AMSA Charter hosts the Aztecs of Aspid, Reg Aspid Valley Regional Technical High School in this Crosstown Colonial League King Division matchup. I'm Matt Passaccio, and today's sports coverage is brought to you by WMCT-TV, Marlboro Community Television. The Road Aztecs coming into today's game are 9-7 overall in the season and 6-5 and in league play. Since the loss to AMSA on April 26th, AV has won 6 of 8 and looked to finish strong heading into the district and possible state tournament. On the other side, the Eagles come in today's action with a 6-9 overall record and are 5-5 five five in league play. After beating AV back on April 26th, the Eagles have lost 6 of 9 and look to play spoiler here against their rival. So who's going to come away with the victory? Stick around with us over the next couple of hours and find out on WMCT Sports Game Day. Beautiful day here in Marlboro, 57 degrees under mostly sunny skies. There is a bit of a breeze though, 15 to 18 miles an hour that is blowing in towards the catcher. Should be an advantage for the pitchers today. And on the mound for AMSA, we find freshman Trevor Petty. Petty the lefty, wanted the ball in today's game. Senior day here for the Eagles, but it's the freshman taking the bump and he'll be facing his brother, Zach. Zach the number nine hitter for AV today, so that should be an interesting matchup. And we'll go through the defense here for the Eagles. Petty on the bump. Behind the plate, we've got Liam Thornley. First base, Lucas Kale. Second base, Yanni Cambosos. And then at third base, we've got Joe Varaca. Shortstop, Cal Thompson. And then across the outfield, Mike Domino, Joe Skowernick, and Anthony Skillings. And up first for the road Aztecs, CJ Coelho. First pitch hack. Fouls it toward the AMSA dugout. Petty's second pitch of the evening. Up and in, taken for a ball. You can really see that dirt and dust kicking up in the infield. Wonder how much of a distraction that's going to be for some of these infielders today, trying to field the ground balls. The 1-1 one -one to Quelo. Fouls it back. That leaves the count at 1 and 2. Quelo back on April 26th. Hit a two-run home run. Quelo takes ball outside. Two balls, two strikes. And that home run was something. It seemed like it was a, a check swing almost. He parked it. Quelo takes another ball. Leadoff man runs the count full here. Petty steps off, let that wind die down a little bit. And Quelo takes ball four. So the leadoff man gets on for Asabit and in steps. The catcher, number nine, Thomas Ryder. Ryder sends it to the outfield. Play made, one down. Up now, number 25, today's starting pitcher, Keegan Andelman. 
Egan takes that pitch high. Uh, now these stats are a day old, but as of yesterday, Andelman is hitting 400, or 404, I should say, with seven RBIs on the season. Ground ball, just over the bag, down the line. Quelo on his way to third. He'll slide in safely. Andelman, stand up double. Strong start for A.V. here. Two of the thir first three men get on. They've got two runners in scoring position. And here comes Kessinger. Kessinger takes the first pitch for a ball. Thornley goes out to talk it over with today's starter, freshman Trevor Petty. Coach Gendron said that Petty wanted the ball today. Well, he's got it. And now he finds himself in a tough spot. Runners in scoring position. Down 2-0 in the count to Kessinger with only one out. The 2-0. Foul. Ooh. Close to landing fair. However, it's... About a foot and a half, two feet foul. Oh, the count is two and one. Kessinger, as of yesterday, is hitting 372, 11 RBIs in the season. So Kessinger goes down on strikes. I was behind a strike. All right, apologies. And now stepping in is Derek Oldham. Now Petty's just one out away from getting out of trouble here in the first. Oh, and he goes. And he's in, Quelo. Quelo steals home. What a play. Heads up, base running there from number seven as A.V. takes a 1-0 lead. Andelman advances to third on the play. Great heads up play there from Quelo. As soon as Thornley released the ball, throwing it back to Petty. Petty turned his back, and that's all it took. Strike on the inner third. Ball high. Ground ball foul. That's two strikes on Oldham. Petty one strike away from getting out of the inning with limited damage. Andelman leads off third. Petty's delivery. And it's a call. Third strike. Trevor Petty. Gets out of trouble, but not before C.J. Quelo steals home 
and gives AV a 1-0 lead after a half inning of play. All right, welcome back here to Stevens Park for the bottom of the first inning. As Tech's lead 1-0 after a steal of home by C.J. Quayle. Now let's go over the Aztec defensive alignment here. On the mound, we've got Keegan Andelman. Behind the plate, we've got Thomas Ryder. First base, Colin Kessinger. Second base, Ryan Holman. Third, we've got Derek Oldham. Shortstop, Andrew Talkoff. Then across the outfield, Noah Burkhart in left. C.J. Quayle in center, and Jake Sweeney, the official fielder who was not in the lineup today, is playing right field. And leading off for the home Eagles is number five, shortstop, Cal Thompson. Cal takes Anneman's first pitch high for ball one. Keegan's second pitch is poured in for a strike. Ball low. Count sits at two and one. Ooh, high and inside, almost got him. Anneman falls behind three and one here to the leadoff batter. Healthy cut. Sharp ground ball to Holman. Fields fires and gets Thompson to get the first out here of the inning. Now up for AMSA, number 10. The right fielder, Anthony Skillings. After that strike, the count sits at one and one. Skillings takes and falls behind the count, one and two. And that pitch was fouled off. Count remains one and two. Edelman working with great pace. And he gets skilling, swinging. Quick two outs here for Edelman and the Aztecs. Now up. Number eight, Mike Domino. Off-speed pitch. Hits the outside corner for strike one. Another pitch on the outside. This time a little too far outside. Now Anneman falls behind, two and one. The one has actually died down here for a couple of seconds. It's very nice. That is hit. Ooh, that looked like it went over the bag, but home plate umpire says that that was a foul ball. That evens up the count at two and two. Two, two. And it is strike three. Impressive inning to start here for Edelman. Sets down the Eagles in order, striking out two, 
And after one complete, AV leads AMSA 1-0 on WMCT-TV. Now AV comes up for their second time up here in the bottom, or excuse me, the top of the second. And up first is number five, left fielder Noah Burkhart. Burkhart shoots it towards third, and it gets through. Burkhart, big turn over at first. Domino gets it back in. And AV's got their leadoff runner on for the second consecutive inning. That ball was perfectly placed between the third baseman and shortstop. And the first pitch there to number 16, Andrew Talkoff, is a strike. Petty's 0-1 is well high. That evens up the count at 1-1. One and one. One one pitch is low. As Petty falls behind two and one to talk off. Burkhart leads off first. And Petty steps off. And Talkoff swings through the 2-1 pitch to even it back up at two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner on first here in the top of the second. Petty's 2-2. Well outside. That forces it to a full count. Second full count that Petty has pitched himself into here in the early stages of this one. And Talkoff stays alive, fouling it back. Petty's pacing is much different than Animan's. And the 3 2. Another one fouled back. Talkoff doing a good job of extending this at bat, putting pressure on the freshman. On deck, we've got Ryan Holman, and in the hole, we have Trevor's brother, Zach Petty, who is the DH today. And Talkoff swings through and is set down on strikes. One down for AMSA here in the second. And stepping up, number 23, the second baseman, Ryan Holman. That pitch called a strike on the outer third. The 0 1 pitch is shot the third. They're looking for two. They got one. And safe. Ooh. It was bang, bang. Did look like it was a tie, so good call there by Blue. So that is a 5 2 4 put out for Holman. And that's two outs. And stepping up. From the left side, so this is a lefty-on-lefty, brother-on-brother matchup as the freshman pitches to big brother. And Zach grounds one to first. Kale can't make the play.
Both runners are safe. Sharply hit ground ball there to first base. First baseman. Lucas Kale couldn't come up with it cleanly. So now we have runners at first and second with two down. That is the fourth base runner allowed so far. We'll see whether or not young Trevor can pitch himself out of another pickle here. And back to the top of the lineup. C.J. Quelo. Quelo rips and fouls it back. Petty's 0-1. High for a ball. Holman leads off second. Petty off first. The 1 1 to Quelo. Swings through. Seems to be frustrated with himself swinging at that pitch. With one more strike, Petty gets out of it. The 1 2. High for ball two. Two two count. Two down. Two runners on. We've got a quick stoppage in play. <laughs> we've got a soccer ball that has made its way back onto the field for a second time. Don't know whether or not we've got people that are messing with us here or not, but. Anthony Skillings kicks it back over the fence and hopefully we can get back to action on the field. Betty's 2-2. Two -two. Swings through it, strike three for the second consecutive inning. Petty works himself into, then out of trouble. After one and a half, A.V. leads AMSA, one nothing. All right, back here at Stevens Park for the bottom of the second. A.V. leads, one nothing. And after a very impressive first inning, Anuman gets ahead of Thornley here. The fastball. Not sure if the umpire needs a moment after that. That's what this mound visit could really just be, to give the umpire a moment after getting hit with the uh, foul ball. So leading off here is number three, the catcher, Liam Thornley. Liam takes high, evens up the count at one and one. One one pitch, foul. Third base side. Oh, excuse me. First base side out of play. Count remains at one and two. Anaman wasting no time, gets the ball, looks in, it's time to fire. That pitch, however, was high. Count sits at 2-2. Two -two. 
just outside. 3-2. Anneman wanted that one. And Anelman sits Thornley down on strikes. Anelman's third K. And here comes number seven, first baseman, Lucas Kale. Looking to pick up the first hit or be the first base runner here for Amps this afternoon. Amps is still uh, in contention for district playoff spot. Needing a win here today. Kale takes the pitch high. Kale shoots it to right, and it dumps in for a base hit. Kale takes the pitch, goes the other way, and picks up the Eagles' first hit here this afternoon. Stepping in, Trevor Petty. Looking to help out his own cause here with a man on first. Anneman steps off. And that pitch is low. One ball, no strikes. Strike right over the heart of the plate. Evens up the count at one and one. Petty fouls it back. One ball, two strikes. Anneman throws over. Kale's able to dive back in safely. Bottom of the second here from Stevens Park. Aspet Valley leads Amso 1-0. And Anelman hits the corner and sets down Petty looking. Another strikeout for Anelman. He's faced six batters and he struck out four of them. Now stepping in, number nine, the third baseman, Joe Varaka, as Anelman throws back over. Kale goes, and he slides in safely. Not the best of throws there from Ryder. Now with two outs, the Eagles have a runner in scoring position. Coach Gendron goes to Varaka to give him a couple of words of wisdom. Did he go? Yes, he did. Baraka can't hold up his swing and falls behind 0 and 1. Shoots it to center field. Looks like a routine play there for Coelho. He reels it in, and that will retire the side here in the second. AMSA picks up their first hit. Whoever they strand the runner and continue to trail Aspen Valley. one nothing here on WMCT-TV. All 
All right, welcome back here to Stevens Park for the top of the third. AV continues to lead this one, one nothing. And Petty out there for his third inning of uh, action. And leading us off here for AV is Thomas Ryder. That one's low. Petty stares in. And the pitch. That one is a strike. Pitch on the outer third is called a ball, so it'll be a walk for a rider. Another base runner for Aspen Valley. Well, stepping in, the starter, Keegan Annaman. And it was called a strike. That one is poked into the middle of the infield. Gambosos calls for it and makes the play. Retires Edelman. Ryder leading off a of first. And the pitch has popped up. And Cal Thompson makes the play. Nice play there from the shortstop. And after the leadoff walk, two quick outs. Derek Oldham will look to extend the inning here for the Aztecs. Oldham gets good contact. Might be in foul territory. It is in foul territory. Foul territory, excuse me. Loud first strike. Fouled back. Now oh, Petty's ahead, 0-2. Oh, and Petty blows it by him. Third straight inning, he ends the inning with a strikeout. All right, welcome back here, bottom third. And uh, while I have your attention for a second, I just want to ask you a question. Have you missed your favorite WMCT program? Don't worry. Just head over to our station's website, wmct-tv.com, click on the Video On Demand tab, and search for your favorite program. So leading off our AMSA here in the bottom of the third is Yanni Cambosis, number four, the second baseman. And he shoots one over the first base, over to first base, and it gets out of play. And a man's 0-1. Slap the other way, and that is going to fall in for a base hit. Cambosis goes the other way for Amps' second hit here today. And 
Now coming up, number 11, center fielder, C.J. Skobernick. Skornik, he shoots one to right. And it's a nice catch made out there by Sweeney. Edelman gives up contact for the first two batters. Edelman throws over. Close play, but Cambosis gets back. Oh, a lot of dust picked up right there. Umpire calls time. Pitch will not count. So we're back up to the top of the lineup here. Shortstop Cal Thompson. Shows bunt, but pulls back. Throw over to first base, not in time. Strike over the middle of the plate. Ball too low. Anneman falls behind, two, one. Umpire calls time once again. The wind really has picked up over the past couple of minutes. It is all of that 18 miles an hour. And that's going to be ball four. Cambosos advanced to second. Thompson heads to first. So that run is at first and second with one down as Anthony Skilling steps in. And Anneman finds the zone and gets ahead of Skilling's 0-1. Ah! All these interruptions must be tough for Anneman. He wants to keep the pace up. Blows it by Skillings. Now ahead, 0-2. Skillings was sat down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now, if we had a field crew here, we'd just get the hose out, water down the dirt, and we'd avoid this problem. But as it stands, one down, and an 0-2 count here on Skillings. And he pops it up. And it'll be behind home plate into foul territory. And I'm again with the 0-2. And this one is shot out to left. And the play is made. Burkhart makes the play. So we've got two down, and Mike Domino's coming up. Got a, another stoppage here. Not sure if the umpire just needs more balls or uh, whatever the case. We've got two down and two on. Ball 
Ball outside. Cambosos found himself way off of second base. Fortunate that Ryder in the Essex didn't catch him. Anamans 1-0. It's chopped towards third. And it's fair. It's fair. That's going to score Cambosos. Thompson rounding third. He'll score. Domino with the double down the third baseline. And AMSA takes a 2-1 lead. Clutch hit there from Domino. First couple of innings, Amps have struggled mightily. Now they're able to break through for a couple here in the third and looking for more. Number The pitch to Thornley. Thornley takes high. Domino leads off second. Thornley looks at a fastball. Thornley draws the walk. That'll break up number seven. First baseman, Lucas Kale. Kale single his first time up. That was the first hit of the day for the Eagles. And now he'll look for another base hit in the hopes that Domino can score from second. Swings through Edelman's fastball there as Edelman gets ahead. A one. Ball gets past him. Both runners will advance to second and third. Looks like Edelman missed his spot, but I'm not quite sure Ryder couldn't come up with that one. No official score, so I guess I'll have to play that part. And I'm going to say a pass ball. Pitch outside. So after getting ahead 0-1, Andelman now falls behind 2-1. Domino at third. Domino at third, Thornley at second. Two down here in the third. AMSA has taken a 2-1 lead. That'll even up the count at 2-2. Animans 2-2. Ground ball to Holman. Holman can't come up with a cleanly. Domino scores. And that makes it 3-1. Holman, diving attempt, knocked it down. Wasn't able to make the play at first. It's 
So Domino scores. Thornley's at third. And Kale is at first with Petty coming up. Petty struck out looking his first time up. Now quickly falls behind here, 0-2. Oh, Anneman looking to stop the bleeding here as Amps has put up a crooked number. Anneman misses high, one and two. Eighth batter here of the inning for AMSA. Did he go? Umpire says, yes, he did. Petty struck out again. Gendron, Coach Gendron is livid right now. However, despite that, AMSA puts up a three spot and takes the 3-1 lead here at the end of three. Back here for the top of the fourth inning from Stevens. Aztecs now trail 3-1. First up here in the fourth inning for AV is number five, Noah Burkhart. And Burkhart hits one down the third baseline and well out of play. And Petty gets the strikeout. Burkhardt set down. And coming up is Andrew Talkoff. Talkoff was struck out last time. But Petty has really found his groove here. He struck out the last two batters he's faced. Ball looped. Over to Cambosos there at second base and two quick outs. Petty's retired five straight. And if it wasn't for that steal of home by CJ Coelho, AV would be held scoreless to this point. But Petty, the freshman, did a very good job of limiting damage there in the first couple of innings, getting runners on but getting out of it. And now he's found his rhythm here in the third and fourth inning. Pitch to Holman. Holman takes inside. Holman last time reached on a fielder's choice. Holman falls it off of his foot. Petty's delivery, ground ball to Thompson. And Thompson fires over to Kale, and that will retire the side. Petty, he's retired six straight. And after three and a half, AMSA leads 3-1. Back at a very windy and incredibly windy Stevens Park. We've had multiple stoppages from the umpire taking moments to hopefully let that wind settle down. It's creating a lot of dust and wind and dirt being kicked up, which makes it very dangerous for the, for really everyone involved. And I believe we have a new pitcher. We 
we will try to get that number for you in a second if we can. Or I might just have bad eyesight and that still might be Edelman out there. So that is Anelman still in there, my apologies. As he pours in a strike. And Baraka shoots one, and Anelman bounces off the mound. Shows off nicer reflexes there, and retires the first batter here in the fourth. Now stepping in the second baseman, number four, Yanni Cambosis. Yanni singled and scored his last time up in the last inning. This time, another bouncer to third. Tough hop off the lip of the infield there. Fortuitous bounce there for Cambosis and the Eagles. Can't really blame the third baseman there on that one. That's a tough hop there for old man for old ham to handle. So we've got one out and a runner at first. And Skorinik will shoot one into shallow center. And the play is not made. The infielder can't make the catch. However, Cambosis was caught in between first and second. And he will be retired. So Skowernik at first. Two down, and we have flipped it back to the top of the lineup. Thompson is 0 for one with a walk, and he came around and scored last time. One of three. Eagle run scored in the third. Another throw over to first. He got him. Heck of a throw. What a pick off there by Edelman to end the inning. Edelman bounces back here in the fourth. However, AV still trails. 3-1 here on WMCT TV. AMSA starter Trevor Petty comes back out for his fifth inning of work. He's really pitched well over the last couple of innings, retiring six straight. And it'll be big brother, Zach, that'll look to end that streak here. Pitch low and inside, ball one. Zach last time up, singled. Takes. Ball too high. AV has been stifled over the last couple of innings. And they're looking for a spark. That pitch looked to be low. Zach didn't like it, but I think Trevor did. Zach still ahead, however, 2-1. Make it 
Trevor's 3-1. Zach slices it into center field for the base hit. Nice looking stroke there for the senior. He gets a base knock off his little brother. Now he's two for two. Win or lose, I think Trevor's gonna be hearing about these hits tonight. Swing back to the top of the lineup, CJ Coelho. Big cut there from Coelho. He fouls it back. Pitch high will even up the count at one and one. Top five here from Stevens Park. AMSA leads AV 3 1. Petty's pickoff attempt unsuccessful. Another big cut from Quayla. as Petty has gotten ahead of Quelo in the count. One, two. Two balls, two strikes. And Petty sits down. Quelo on strikes for the second time today. Seven Ks so far on the day for Trevor Petty. Now Thomas Ryder steps up. Looking to move that runner along from first. Ball in the dirt. Nice play there, though, by Thornley. Petty's 1-0. 2-0. Umpire calls for time again. Now, if you remember the April 26th game that we did over at Aspen Valley, that was a game where there was a lot of wind as well. Much colder. Runner breaks for second. Thornley loses control, won't throw over. Petty is at second with one down. Pitch fouled back. Petty leads off second. And he sits him down. Ryder caught looking. Eighth strikeout for Petty. Now Andelman will look to come through here with a runner in scoring position. Off speed pitch, outside ball one.
Petty steps off. The elder Petty scampers back to second. Another ball. Edelman ahead in the count, 2-0. Inside, call the strike. Animan swings, pops it. Shallow outfield, actually won't even make the grass. Cal Thompson brings it in, and that will retire the side here in the top of the fifth. Petty's rolling. AMSA leads 3-1. Welcome back to your local coverage of high school baseball. Bottom five. Eagles lead AV 1-0 in a sharp line drive there on the first pitch of the inning as Cal Thompson lines out. Nice heads up play there by Colin Kessinger at first base. So one down. And that brings up Anthony Skillings. Skillings is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a fly out to left. And that ball runs the count to two balls, no strikes. And yet another timeout from the umpire. I mean, somebody has to have a hose somewhere. And it pours in the fastball. Two, two count, and it's punched in the outfield. Sweet, oh, he slips. Sweeney slips. Skilling slides into second. Tough play there for Sweeney, the designated fielder out there in right field today. Never know, maybe caught a slick spot there up in the outfield. So we'll have to call that an error, unfortunately. That was a very playable ball. So Skillings winds up at second with one down. And Domino, after that foul ball, is down in the count 0-1. Fastball from Edelman, called strike. And now he's ahead 0-2. We have a timeout called in the middle of the pitch. Not quite sure why. Maybe the batter stepped out. So we'll do that one over. 2-2. Runner at second with one down. Ground ball. It's going to be played by the third baseman. Throws it over, and he's safe. Looks like Kessinger at third base. So it looks like we've had a switch there. Oldham at first, now Kessinger at third. And now with runners at first and second and one down, Thornley steps in.
ball in the dirt. Ryder, nice job picking it up. Pitch looked a little high. Liam took a good cut at it, fouled it back. Two on, one out. Bottom five, Amsa up 3 1. Ooh, that ball at least Thornley acted like it was well inside. Edelman gets the call as Thornley is set down. Thornley set down on strikes for the second time today. So two down as Lucas Kale steps in. High ball one. Excuse me, ball two. Anneman gets the call on that one. Two balls, one strike. Anneman gets the Low strike on that one. Even up the count at 2-2. Two -two. Off speed pitch. Low and outside. Runners will be off with the pitch. Full count. And just as I try to set up the moment, the wind decides to interrupt us, albeit momentarily. So again, full count, two outs. And, ooh, hit by pitch there. The runners will advance. Looks like Kale took that one off the dome. That walk sets it up for Zach Petty. Base is loaded. Coach Gendron coming out to speak with the infield umpire. So Petty will look to help out his own cause here as he fouls the first pitch back. You figure a base hit here would probably score a couple. Give AMSA some decent breathing room here in the late stages of this game. Edelman's 0 1. I couldn't tell. Did he call that one a strike? It was a ball. So 1 1. Swings through that one. Big cut. One ball, two strikes. Huge moment in this game for Asbit. Can Anneman get out of this bases loaded jam? Ground ball. Kessinger misplays it. One run scores. The rest of the runners will stay put. Amsa now leads 4-1. That was a tough play for, uh, for Kessinger there. I believe it's Kessinger. Oh my, yep, that is Kessinger there at third. Tough couple of plays there for him. Tough to call that one an error as he's on the move trying to make the play. Give P 
Petty a hit on that one. But Skilling scored on that last one, so that's 4-1 now. Base is still loaded. We've got Petty at first, Kale at second, and Domino at third. And Varaka now looking for a big blow in this one. Andelman over the first couple of innings, incredibly strong. Having a tough time though over the last couple. Slow ground ball there to first base and that should retire the side. Oh no. Oh, they called it a foul, okay, my apologies. Two down here in the bottom of the fifth. And Baraka is set down. Not before the Eagles pick up another run and make this a 4-1 game as we head to the sixth here on WMCT-TV. Back for the top of the sixth. AMSA has extended their lead four to one. And leading off here for the Aztecs, the current third baseman, Colin Kessinger. Kessinger is 0 for 2. Striking out in the first. Colin turns on one and grounds it to second. Cambosos can't heal it cleanly and Kessinger is safe. E4 on Cambosos. Kessinger is at first. And that one is turned on. And Skillings is there to make the play. One down. Now stepping in with one out is number five, Noah Burkhart. Burkhart's one for two, singled in the second, and struck out in the fourth. Betty delivers. Strike one. Petty, since the third, has been nearly untouchable. Four strikeouts, and I believe he's only given up one base hit since a walk he gave up to lead off the third. So just a really nice stretch here for the freshman. Petty steps off. Kessinger leading off first, one out. That pitch is high. Are you able to get a piece of it? Thompson makes the play. Will they double him off? No. Kale can't hold on. Nice attempt there from Cal Thompson. So a couple of quick outs. 
Now Talkoff will come in looking to extend this top of the sixth. Betty's pickoff attempt. Nice play by Kale, just stopping it. Grounder down the third base line. Is it fair? It's called foul. Talkoff is 0 for 2 on the day. Struck out in the second. This one, shot to center. Skornik fades, but comes back in for it. And that will retire the side here in the sixth. AMSA continues to lead 4-1 here on WMCT-TV. We're back here at Stevens for the bottom of the sixth. AMSA leads 4-1. But while I have your attention for a second, I was just wondering if you've ever thought about making your own TV show. Yeah? Perfect. Just get in touch with our station's access supervisor, Alex O'Neill, at our offices on 91 Main Street here in Marlboro, and we'll take you through the basics of shooting, it, shooting your camera, editing your footage, and turning your dreams into a reality. Well, as I'm doing my read, Camboso shoots a liner to the outfield for a base hit. He's now three for three. Big day for the second baseman. Now with a man on and nobody out, Skowernik steps in. And my apologies to CJ and his family. I know I've butchered his name a ton over the last couple of years. And as I say that, he shoots one to shortstop. Will they pull off the double play? They do. Six, four, three, DP. So just like that, two down as we head back up to the top of the lineup. And Thompson takes the off-seed pitch, but it's called a strike. The 0-1 fouled off first base side. And that pushes the count to 0-2. Two pitches low. One and two. And I'm looking to get out of the inning. Thompson grounds it. Third base side. And they'll keep the count at one and two. Anneman, who started off so well over the first couple of innings, faded and had a difficult time getting through innings three through five. Conversely, Petty on the other side struggled this first couple of innings then has glided through innings three through six. Thompson pops it up. Will the first baseman have a play? No. Ground ball. Andelman has it. Toss it to first. 
And that retires the side in the sixth. Amps are not able to add to their lead. However, they take a 4-1 lead heading into the seventh. All right, welcome back to the top of the seventh here from Stevens Park. And let's take a quick look at the Colonial Athletic League standings. Bay Path, 14-2 overall, 12-0. Very impressive. 12-0 division record. Then in second, BBT, 11-4 overall, 9-2 in division play. Then you got AV at 9-7, uh, 6-5 and, seven, six and five in league play. Amps are right behind them in league play, I should say, with 5-5. Uh, five and five. But Their record overall is 6-9. and nine. And then Worcester rounding out the bottom of the division with a 5-7 and seven league play record and 8-8 eight and eight overall. So AV needs three runs here to extend this one. And Ryan Holman to take his cracks here as the leadoff man in the seventh. Ground ball to third. Fielded. And nice play by Kale scooping it. Heck of a play there. Varaka able to make a Nice play, fielding it. And then Kale digging it out over at first base. So one quick out. And now Zach Petty, who's two for two on the day. The game within the game here, as these two brothers face off against one another. And it's Zach. Again, is oh, nice play out there by Anthony Skillings in right. Well struck ball there by Zach. However, Skillings makes a quality play there in the outfield. And that's two outs here in the seventh. And now Quelo steps up with two down. Last chance here for the Aztecs. Pitch inside. Strike on the outer third. Really can't say enough about the performance here from the freshman, Trevor Petty. Off-speed pitch got away from him. Almost hit Quelo. So if this score holds up, the Eagles will improve. Or yes, the Eagles will improve to seven and nine on the season. The Aztecs will drop to a nine and seven. Aztecs down to their last strike. And that will do it. The freshman Trevor Petty picks up the win. Anelman takes the loss as AMSA defeats and sweeps the season series against the Aztecs, winning today by a score of 4-2-1. Once again, thank you to everybody that's watched us here today. We certainly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube and Facebook pages. So, for Declan Garside and Mike Lawton, I'm Matt Passaccio signing off from Stevens Park.